Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 55 of the Legends of Ocarina of Time. Uh, yeah, I'm back on track with those numbers now after screwing it up freaking twice in the last two episodes. Anyways, well technically the second screw up was due to the first screw up, but regardless. Anyways, so in this episode, we're going to start by going back to being a kid. So let's just watch this epic scene that you've never seen before in your life. Even if you've ever played this game, you've never seen this. No, you just never have. Seriously. And all of a sudden, we are a tiny little kid again, wearing our nice little green tunic since our blue one won't fit. Anyways, uh, yeah, we have some stuff to do as a kid. It's heart pieces, skull claws, and I think that's pretty much about it. There's some storyline development that we could do, but that's later on in the story. We're going to have to do that eventually, so I'll just wait until then to do that. But for now, we're just skeletal hunting and stuff. Uh, this is actually the second time I've tried to record this. The first one failed because I forgot to press the start capture button. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, right now it is... Looks like 2... 230... 2.35 in the morning. Get up there, Link. Come on, climb. You can do it. I've seen you do it before. There you go. And about 2.35 in the morning, July 8th, I think, 2010. Uh, hopefully the same day that you'll actually be seeing this video, if I can get this uploaded in time and stuff. But anyways, just, I don't know, about an hour and a half or so ago, uh, I finished watching... Shut up, Navi. I finished watching... Scopes, K6 Scopes, Cossack Scopes, 12 hour Ustream, his live Ustream there. And I'm sure many of my subscribers are also there because I know that a lot of you were also there. I've seen your names and stuff around there. So don't even bother lying about that. And you all know that it was super epic, awesome fun. Don't start with me again, Link. Yeah. And, um. He's going to be doing a 24-hour stream at some point, so this was basically a practice stream, just half the time. And, yeah, so he's going to be doing that sometime in the future. We don't He doesn't know when yet, but I will be there, de most definitely. And if any of you are interested in this, and or don't know who he is, I'll put a link in the description to his channel so that you can go check him out, subscribe to him if you want. And at some point, I'll also make a video regarding this 24-hour stream when we have information on it. Yeah. Uh-oh. It lagged out for a second there. Uh-oh. It's lagging. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I'm good now. Almost. No. No, I'm not. It's lagging like a bitch now. For some reason. I think I'm good. Maybe. 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 Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so, anyways, I'm over here now in Hyrule Castle because there's a sculpture to get here if you play the Song of Storms. Do 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 do. I saw a video on YouTube once where a guy plays like an actual ocarina and he plays that song and it's really epic. Uh, you can go look that up if you want. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, yeah. So there's in this little tiny alcove down here there's gonna be three bombable walls I'm just gonna bomb all three of them get it out of the way now and anyways uh, there's not much over here there's a uh, gossip stone over there you can talk to it if you want I'm not gonna do that not right now anyways uh, and there's a uh, skull over here that we have to hit with our slingshot since we can't use a bow and arrow as a little kid because it's too dangerous for us me is, and then there's that golden sculpture there. Um, there's actually a glitch as associated with this sculpture where basically, um, I don't, I've never done it myself and I don't plan on doing it, but you can like, when you throw the boomerang to get that token, if you back onto this pa pad right here to warp yourself back out at the right moment, you will still claim the token, but when you go back, if you go back down there, then the sculpture will reappear. And as such, you can keep, you can continually get that token over and over and over again, and basically glitch your way to 100 skulls with if you're good enough. But this is not a glitch run or anything, so I'm not going to plan on doing that. Jeez, almost five minutes already. Wow. Anyways, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot that we can actually do as a kid right now. 
Uh, we could do that, uh, th something with the soft soil patches, but there's currently one soft soil patch that we don't want, no, well, that we do want to get to, uh, my bad, but that we cannot access right now, because we're not allowed to go to that area yet. So once we get access to that, then I'll just do them all at once. In some kind of a mo an epic montage of some sort. I'm sure. Anyways, um, and as for other sculptures that you can get, I'm pretty sure there's none. And I think that last sculpture that we just picked up, that'll clear out the marketplace of sculptures. Yeah, there we go. So now we're just gonna go get not one, but two pieces of heart. That's right. In Zora's River. So that's gonna be crazy, epic, awesome, fun, I'm sure. And yeah, and after that, I think I'm pretty much gonna be done with being a kid. Because there are some other things I could do, but I think I'll save those for another time for another time. Seeing as they will become pertinent at certain points throughout the game. And it'll be more comprehensive. It'll be more understandable as to why I'm doing it at that point. That's what it is. So far this recording session is going a lot smoother than the last one. Uh, I was really tired in the last one, it seemed like, and I I'm still really tired, don't get me wrong, it's like, freaking 240, almost. But yeah, anyways. Anyways, so you want to come out here, and um, you walk carefully out to the end of this log here, and it'll say, some frogs are looking at you from underwater. How very strange. Maybe they want my ocarina or something. And these five frogs will appear. What you want to do with these five frogs is play all of your songs, other than the warp songs, like the Minuet of Forest and stuff like that. We'll start with like something like Zelda's Lullaby. And as you can see, the frogs hop in unison with the notes, basically. Each frog is assigned a note, and whenever you play that note, they'll hop up and down. And then they'll get all happy, so happy, and grow really big. Or one of them will grow really big. And he's like, young lad, you, pay you play the ocarina well. Mmm. That melody is so fine. Ribbit. We all sh we all should practice it. Ribbit. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it. Ribbit. Ribbit. Why are they British? I don't know. But anyways, we have 50 rupees, which is going to fill up our wall up there. And basically, every time you play a song, uh, you will get 50 rupees. Um, but this song is a little bit different. This song... The song, song of Storms. When you play this one, something kind of interesting will happen. They'll get all happy again, but none of them will actually grow, and instead they'll be like, Wow, that melody is so cool! Ribbit. Singing in the rain, oh, what a feeling. Ribbit. Please take this as a token of our froggish gratitude. Ribbit. Alright, see you. Ribbit. Yeah, froggish gratitude, whatever. And we get a piece of heart, which is the first one towards our new heart container, number 15, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, it lags out right there, but whatever. Anyways, now we can play some more songs. Um, we'll play Pona's song. Yeah, basically all the songs other than the warp songs, just like I said. This is probably going to take the rest of the video, if, if not sometime into the next video after this. Anyways, um, we get... And he, they basically just say the same thing there, and you get another 50 rupees. Now we'll play, um, Sarai's song. Saria's song, something. There we go. And now another one will grow, the third one. One in the middle, awesome. Take rupees as a souvenir, and we get 50 rupees. And why am I all British all of a sudden? I have no, but, no idea, but that's all podcast. Anyways, uh, what else is there? There is, uh, the Sun Song. And there'll be one more song that we need, um, what is that song gonna be? What is that song gonna be, Emma? I, I don't remember for some reason. You know what, but I can look it up. Kind of embarrassing, but whatever. So, oh, the Song of Time, duh. Duh, man. Why are you so stupid? I guess you just don't think of the song of time as a normal song, because most of these songs are like six notes. Or, well, this one's six notes too, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But this, this one just seems different. And then they're all like, Young lad, you play the ocarina, yeah, blah, blah. 
And after you've done that, you can take out your ocarina one more time and do something else with these guys. But it looks like we're about at about 10 minutes right now, so I guess that this just going to wait for the next episode. So, thank you everyone for watching. In the next episode, we'll do more stuff with these frogs. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.